after having played around with the new MI notebook e-learning edition for a while this is what the configuration looks like and I made a short video on the startup time which is pretty impressive now this laptop you cannot just lift up the lid like you can in a Mac but maybe with a bit of use that will happen let's power it on and uh, see how much time it takes so not a whole lot that's just around eight seconds let's shut it down again and do the same thing again to make sure the startup is fast as you can see there's a led on the power and now it's gone off we just switch it on again and like earlier the boot time is pretty impressive it's really fast that's it it also has a led on the caps lock which makes it very very usable so that's about the startup the other good thing about this notebook is that the touchpad is a precision touchpad which means that you can use all the gestures and taps possible the next thing we look at is disk benchmarks the internal ssd is pretty fast and uh, i get almost half that speed on an external ssd but that's maybe because it's formatted for the mac and using uh, a different driver and then of course you can compare that speed with a regular hard disk drive next we look at the battery and the charging time the battery life is pretty impressive almost as advertised it's around 10 percent per hour and that i found in my uh, video playback benchmark i just ran amazon prime and uh, put in a movie ran it for a few hours and it's approximately 10 percent per hour that is pretty impressive that means almost a 10 hour battery life next let's look at the charging time this charges at approximately one percent per minute which means a hundred minutes or an hour and a half for a full charge approximately around one and a half to two hours for a full charge which is not bad at all for an entry-level notebook for people more inclined in benchmarks we have a real bench numbers here and not much to write home about but it's pretty good for an entry-level system and we have some information from the cpu z application the various screens that provide you more information about the system and once we are done with this we'll come to the conclusion that i have reached so far to conclude the system has a great screen for this price point a full hd as you can see in the system information as well a precision uh, touchpad great battery life and fast charging I would not recommend this for any uh, gaming or graphics uh, use it's not meant for that either but all your regular applications like office and browsing is pretty fast and if you're looking for something in this range it's a great laptop to have and that's my current conclusion and it's worked perfectly well so far I have reset windows uh, three times no issues whatsoever and all the updates applied i've tried a couple of tablets as well everything seems to work as expected and with two usb 3 ports extending uh, this notebook is a simple thing so overall a good buy that's it for now have fun till the next one